Hello everyone, my name is Brian Trapagne. Today we'll be creating a multi-mesh and multi-texture ASC object and bring it out of uh, 3D Max into uh, Doom 3. First I want to just uh, quickly go over how to create an ambient light. If you watched the texture baking video, you uh, saw me place a whole bunch of lights around a sphere like this and that was so that I didn't have any shadows because basically the light that's created as a scene default light is shooting out of your eyes looking at the object so whatever's looking at you is what has light actually shining on it but uh, if you wanted to get shadow behind to, to disappear you have to set lights or as was pointed out to me what you would do is create a light uh, just any light and then come on into because it cancels now turns off all the default lighting of the scene coming over to modify and you can just turn that light off now there is no light in there come on up to rendering uh, environment and set your ambient to pure white close okay and now there would be a uh, there's a, a light in there that you would see if there was an object uh, texture on it but there's equal lighting all around there's no shadows anymore we don't want that though for this scene we're going to uh, just turn the environment back an ambient of, uh, of black with some shadows and uh, close this and reset no yes now we will create a geosphere and that was uh, that light tip was by Othman from uh, read, read him on uh, doom3world.org we're going to now create a uh, sphere and we will create a, uh, a torus beside it there's our two objects zoom that up now what I'm going to do is uh, make this so it's looks more like it's part of that object and um, what I'm going to do now is quickly uh, texture that to do that what uh, no first I'm going to come over to here torus right click editable mesh click on this right click editable mesh with that selected I'm going to call that ball zero with that selected I'm going to call that uh, donut one and with it selected I am now going to add an edit mesh to the stack and choose faces and I'm going to select these front faces and come on up to detach and I will detach it to an element okay and now that it's detached to an element I can uh, slide it out of the way and the other the back pieces are still there as you can see so I will now select those back faces and turn on the snap to angle and rotate it so that they're all oriented facing towards you and I'm going to uh, bring that over here like such um, first I'm also not first but I'm also going to cut this one not that far up, cut it right there, not that piece at all. Well, here, let's do that again. Okay, I've selected some part over here. What I'm going to do is Alt key and go over that because I don't want that. So now that I'm going to detach that as well. Okay, and we're going to spin that so that it's facing the same. And we will put that over top like this. So they're basically matched up. And this part over here that we already had done, we will. Uh, uh, zoom that down or uh, scale it down using the R button we can make that as small as you want or as big as you want for getting the detail in comparative to uh, the objects that you don't need so we'll put that in there like that um, no reason to do this I'm just making it a layout now that that's uh, put into its spot we're going to add a UV map to it a planar UV map and I like to uh, always make it a little bit larger on all those sides planar UV map is on. We're going to uh, add an unwrap UVW to it and that allows you to uh, edit up the individual vertices inside here after the fact. If you're so inclined you can just go in and specifically lay out where the texture fits in that particular little square by working the individual vertices. Now that it's selected like such and that it has all the uh, edit mesh did I uh, come back or am I still on faces? No? Okay, that's good. We have the edit mesh, the UV map, and the unwrap UVW. 
we're going to come over to the utilities section and Texporter does not come with 3D Max you have to download it offline it's free stick it in the plugins folder Texporter I like to uh, well we're going to make it 512 as the size convention would dictate I like to uh, polygon fill off all lines and constant of white coming up we're going to pick object and it's going to create a square picture of this wire frame and I will now save that and I'm just saving it to the uh, custom folder where everything else will be saved as well and I will call that uh, call that donut one wire save yeah sure fine and uh, we're gonna head on into Photoshop now inside Photoshop open up the uh, donut wire and uh, now you can just uh, draw texture on it so what we're going to do is uh, draw around like this and uh, stick a different color for the top okay now one more color just for this last bit and this whole piece in here we'll just make that whole thing blue so it completely stands out and some of the outside edge is going to be blue too on the other ones because I went over so that's where you would use uh, layers and not actually color on your background but color it looks kind of like a rainbow color on a layer okay we're going to uh, save this as and it's going to now be called donut wa donut one underscore uh, D uh, the D is because it's going to be the diffuse map and save that okay and now we will uh, come to the image size and percent will be 50 okay and we will save this as same except PD and this is the editor image so when you go and uh, open up the Doom 3 editor material that, it'll, that'll be the picture references to show you it back in 3D Max come on over to the uh, material editor and uh, we will diffuse bitmap and we want to add the D okay and we will add it to the selected mesh and show it inside the viewport we can close this come on over you can see how it's got texture on it now what you want to do and it was important that you uh, we will come back to this one make it a little larger it was important that you put the edit mesh on because what you want to do now is turn that off and it snaps the object into place textured so now that that's done we can just right click on that and collapse all and it becomes an editable mesh called donut one and now just quickly we're going to uh, go back into Photoshop and create a second texture a second texture that's differentiate so we will save this as ball one save okay image size percent 50 okay file save as and this one is the editor image okay 3 max we will now select the ball we'll go back to alt w so we can uh, see everything put it on full screen ball uh, I think M brings up the material editor and uh, now that we have the ball selected select the next texture over bitmap ball open add it to the mesh show it inside the viewport get out of there okay and uh, that is your multi object mesh and now all that you have to do is come on up to uh, here no you want to select everything select that select that come on up to export selected ASE and this is going in the uh, C models map objects custom and we will call this uh, test a and save material mesh definition mesh normals map and coordinates okay now we're going to head into the C drive on the C drive you have your uh, textures inside of here custom we don't want the wire one we'll get rid of that so now we just have these two um, back over here we're going to go with models now we'll come over to materials first and you have a, a 
notepad, just a text file called custom.mtr, call it whatever you want. And uh, inside of here, you would set uh, this one to say zero, because so, this is going to reference uh, any uh, texture with the uh, name. We don't want it to say test the zero. We want it to say, what's the name of the textures? There's ball one and nope that's not what I want I want donut one and I want ball zero so there we go that's a little better ball zero okay so now we go back to that material folder thing in here and we will call this ball zero and uh, this is referencing that textures custom folder that you just saw and here we will also set this to be the ball zero and here will be the ball zero this is the editor image this is the diffuse you could also have a specular and a local which is the bump or normal map so now we've got two textures so we will copy and paste that again and now we will call it uh, donut one get a text editor that just does a full copy replace. I have one called Irfan View that would work great. So you don't have to do all these individually. Donut one, donut one. This looks good. Save. Done there. And again this is just references everything texture with the name ball zero. So the editor version, the diffuse, the specular and the local. And we're done there. Come on into the models folder. Map objects custom. This is where the uh, the uh, ASC so you want to uh, open that up and inside of here you have this part here where it says C textures you just want that to uh, go uh, add one more of these and stick base uh, textures custom sure and get rid of this part here ball one well I have it as ball zero so let's go with all zero and then uh, that's going to be for material zero and now we will scroll on down here and there it says material and here we have the donut one again we will just have it say the same thing as here right up to custom and we will get rid of this underscore D we'll come on down and it's going to have a referencing zero that's what I want the next one is the donut one and its texture is already set in place so let's just see what it's referencing It's referencing material one, which is what I want, so this is just great. Uh, we can close this. Yes. And now we'll come on over to the folder, C, uh, the main C drive. Click on models, click on materials, click on textures, right click, add to zip. And we will call this pack 999 because you want it higher than the, anything that you want it to take precedence over. Save full path info, pack 999, and uh, add. So everything's in there. We can now come here and we will uh, cut this and head over to the Doom folder. Inside the Doom folder, go to base, paste this one in, rename it, call it PK4, and now we can uh, open up the Doom 3 editor. Now we can just uh, right click in here, go uh, new model. Wait for it to open up the box to give us the selections. Uh, base, models, map objects, scroll down to custom, which is right there, and test ASE, OK. And uh, we'll just slide that into place, move it up. As you can see in this window, it's uh, not all fine until, of course, you do an F3. And now it's uh, looking much better. Let's go F4. 
F3. Turns that off, turns that on. And uh, you can BSP and go in the game. Beautiful, isn't it?